Hey, good morning, everybody. Pastor JC here coming at you live for just a few moments on this election day 2020. Y'all, it's finally here. We're casting our vote for the leader, the president of the United States of America. And I don't know about you, but I'm kind of ready for it to be over. I'm tired of all the political ads, I'm tired of all the hatred of all the phone calls and the text messages and the emails and the social media blitzes and i'm just ready for it to be over but you know we've been praying the last 30 days at crossroads for this day and i believe that god has ordained this day and i know that many many people their hearts are troubled today they're struggling they're worried they're anxious they're fearful not just about who's going to serve as president of the United States in the next four years, but also about the, the fallout from it all. Um, stores boarding up in anticipation of rioting and looting and all of that, and somebody doesn't get their way. And, and I'm, you know, we, we need to pray. We need to pray because I believe God can bring peace over each of us. Good morning, Robert. Good morning, Mom and Dad. Glad you're on here today. This election day does not need to steal our joy and our peace, and our hope. I, I was reading this morning, a friend of mine posted on his social media page, and something he said just stuck out to me so profoundly and kind of hit, hit it, hit the nail on the head, so to speak, for me. He said, Jesus is the king, he's the ruler of a forever kingdom, regardless of, of who the president of a temporary republic is. Let me say that again. Jesus is the king of a forever kingdom, regardless of who the president of a temporary republic is. And I thought, you know, that's exactly right. We vote, we elect, but in the end, Jesus is in control. And so this morning, I want you to just rest in that. And I want you to listen to a passage of scripture that the Lord laid on my heart this morning for us today. As you know, as I mentioned, Crossroads has been praying for the last 30 days, a concentrated, intentional intercessory prayer for this day. And I just know that God's will is going to be done. No matter how it plays out, I just trust that he is in control. And this passage of scripture speaks to my heart today. It's in Psalm chapter 105. You know, I think that this day needs to be more than just an election day. It needs to be a day that the voices of God's people rise in praise and thanksgiving to our God. We will not be afraid. Whom shall we fear? For we belong to him and he is in control. And he is due all of the glory and the honor and the praise forever and ever. And, you know, I've been watching the news. I've been watching the the rallies, the presidential rallies and campaigns and all of that. And, and, you know, I know one of the candidates has been pulling in huge rallies with numbers, thousands of people that are, are just in anticipation of his being elected. And I got to be thinking about that. And I thought, you know, there's a vast, vast majority, even bigger than that, that is glorifying God and praising God. Not just the angels in heaven, not just the saints who have gone on before us, but there is a church, there is a living, breathing body of Christ in this earth that is glorifying God and honoring him and recognizing that his kingdom will stand. And this scripture in Psalm chapter 105 says this this morning. I'm going to read it to you. Oh, give thanks to the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the peoples. Sing to him. Sing psalms to him. Talk of all his wondrous works. Glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those who rejoice see who seek the Lord. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face forevermore. Remember his marvelous works, which he has done, his wonders and the judgments of his mouth. He is the Lord, our God, and he remembers his covenants forever. I wanted to put that in your heart this morning and and pray peace over you today. I know that today is a day where 
nerves are on edge. Our whole nation seems to be waiting anxiously to see what the outcome is going to be. Fear, concern, trepidation, worry, whatever you want to call it. And I just believe that it today needs to be a day that the people of God simply raise our voices in praise and honor and glory and thanksgiving to Jesus. Not raising our voices in support or against a candidate, but raising our voices in a unified praise and thanksgiving to our Heavenly Father and to Jesus Christ. His kingdom come, his will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So let me just say it again. Jesus is king over a forever kingdom, regardless of who is president over a temporary republic. Let that sit in your spirit this morning. Find peace and hope and joy today. Don't be afraid. Don't be concerned. Don't be worried. God is in control. And what seems like chaos, what seems like craziness, what seems like hatred and anger and violence, God can turn it all around. I believe God is setting the course of this nation and we need to turn back to him. We need to repent. We need to honor him and glorify him. And so regardless of the outcome of this election, let's set our hearts and our minds to pray for whoever is elected today. Pray for them. Lift them up. Intercede. Stand in the gap for them that God would give them godly wisdom and, and divine intervention as they, as they lead our nation. I love you today. I'm praying over you. Crossroads, we're not done praying. Just because our 30 days of prayer ended yesterday, we're not done praying. Take some time to fast and pray and intercede today and that the peace of God would settle over our nation. I love you. May you be, may you be blessed and favored today as you go forward in the name of the Lord. And if you haven't voted yet, get out and vote. If you have to stand in a long line, it doesn't matter. Don't get frustrated. Don't get angry. Get out and vote and glorify God in everything that you do and say today. There'll be enough people out there speaking negativity, speaking hate, speaking envy and bitterness and jealousy. There'll be enough people being critical. You go out there and speak life and speak hope and speak love in this day. I love you. God bless you. Take care of yourselves.